Starting today, thousands of students are going to flock to UNO to start their first day of college. But the drive in doesn't have to literally be a drive. That's right. UNO is pushing for alternative transportation to campus, like using a shuttle from Baxter Arena, which is where we find Jenna Janes this morning. Jenna, hockey season doesn't start for a few months, right? No, it still is a little bit away, but definitely feel like it might be hockey season this morning with this cooler weather. Great start for back to school, but here in lot 26, this is actually going to be one of the best places for students to park on campus. You can park here for free right by Baxter Arena, and then you can see the, the spot right behind me. Just catch a free shuttle on over to UNO in order to get to those classes. Now, if you don't have a car, there are other options. For instance, there's bicycling with the B cycle system throughout Omaha, as well as zip car. That's a car that you can actually rent and the new this year they're also doing a ride sharing program so any UNO student staff or faculty member can actually sign up to try to get a carpool ride with someone else it actually will match students and faculty to other people that live near them so that they can both get to campus together you can also use that for one trips so say students want to go down to Kansas City for the weekend they can actually put in and see if anyone else is going to Kansas City and they want to carpool and cut you know share the price of gas and by the way, if you do carpool, you get some of the best parking spots on campus. In some cases, it's even closer than the deans get to park. So definitely a little bit of an incentive there. But if you don't have a car, there's definitely other options. For instance, you could do their Mavride program. That, of course, is the bus system here. And since January, they've actually updated it that all you need is your Mav card to be able to get on that bus. Ridership has increased drastically since they've done that, Dave Cerise. And with all of those stops all along campus, it's going to drop you off closer to the building you need to get to then some of those parking spaces will. All right, Jenna, the ride share program sounds like a great idea, but how do they make sure it is safe for the students? Only students, staff and faculty actually have access to it. So they're the only ones that can sign up. So no one randomly in the community can do so. And then it's between the student and the staff member, or rider and driver to decide how much the gas fee is going to be, things like that. So it's completely safe and all decided between the two people who are using it. Yeah, definitely thought of everything. All right, Jenna Jane's reporting live this morning. Jenna, thank you.